What's up WWE Champions Universe, this is Lee from Champions Chat, and this is your WCW Weekend Contest Walkthrough, where the big dragons play. And uh, this week, we have got your Unbreakable Dragoon for Ilya Dragunov. So, new and improved, there's some better tour rewards supposedly supposedly it looks like there's some things right there uh let's find out this weekend if Ilya Dragunov is Unbasigbar battle him as a faction boss and earn up to 800 of his shards and rewards alongside the new tiffy time moment yep that happened in fact I was just talking to someone who's like why did you power rate Tiffy so late? And it was like, well, because we just thought there was going to be a moment, but we thought it would be during her month. Well, either way, now there is one. And previous MLC superstar shards on the prize wall. Enjoy an improved Ilya Dragunov tour with more valuable rewards than before. So if you don't know the format of the WCWs yet, we don't just read the blog. I tell you what's going on. And when Rusty's here, he's actually uh, not for this one, but we'll be back on Friday for our full stream on the champs channel we just tell you what you need to know and like what this means not just what it says so first thing we need to know is everything is subject to change side effects include subject to change so just know the in-game thing is the best possible way to look however this does give you a pretty good guesstimate of what's going to happen when and where and how so the Unbreakable Dragoon, or Dragon, solo contest begins 8.23 at noon Pacific time, ends on the 26th. That would be a Friday to a Monday. Uh, faction boss competition is 8.23 until 8.25. That would be a Friday to a Sunday, but the faction boss itself actually goes live on Saturday at 2 Pacific and ends on Sunday at 6 Pacific time. There's some big rewards this weekend. Uh, there's 100 shards of Unbreakable Mae Young. Plus, her poster and shards will be in the loot. There are no shards of Maxine, which makes me go, no, because I only need 300, and all I want this month is her training ability. That That's it. I just want that training ability for William Regal. Everything else could go away. Uh, however, there is a chance to get her poster and shards in the loot. So, yeah, I'll do a weekend poll. We'll see how, how it goes here. Uh, also, for Unbreakable uh, or Unbesigbar, Mr. Ilya Dragunov, there's 200 solo, 35 in the faction boss, 40 in the shop. That's resetting it through cash, uh, in-game cash, and 25 in tours. So roughly 300 there. Uh, plus, in the paid portion or your lucky ducky and got some really rare CSS portion, you've got 200 in solo milestones, 100 on the prize wall, 80 in the uh, faction boss shop. Th sorry, the first 40 are there 80 is resetting it twice, which is like the first one is $14.99 and the second one is like, uh, I don't know, tell me in the chat, two, 2000 something like that. But either way, it's like three or 4000 in-game cash to get those shards plus 120 in offers and chance it is six-star silver poster in the loot. So few different ways to go. Uh, for Cody from last month, there's 50 in the faction boss competition and 200 on the prize wall. And then Trish and Rex Regum, 200 on the prize wall. Uh, there are bags and items throughout the contest. So there's these Summer of Champions 2 Unbreakable Dragon prize wall rewards plus a superstar bag where you can get a three-star bronze poster of any of the three chases this month. Plus, as you can see, looks like 15 shards of other people. Uh, and then on the main prize wall, here's where we get to the thing you've been waiting for. That is the Tiffy Time moment. So, who does impact? Uh, Tiffany Stratton, Tiffy Time. EO Sky, Damage Katarl. Control, I know. Chelsea Green, Entitled. Naomi, that's the new one, Striker. Uh, striker, Drew McIntyre, who yet far has not been super impressive. LA Knight, yeah. Andrade, Tranquillo. And Carmelo Hayes, him. And what do you get? You get a global boost. That means uh, hopefully not subject to change. Let's hope, let's hope. But like the moment they just released for the uh, Summer of Champions 1 characters, like the Miz's moment, where it works in any mode. Doesn't matter what it is. And that would be 10 Trap Gem Generation, 200% Botch Gem Damage, 200% Pyro Gem Damage, 50% Blue Gem Damage, that's for Tiffy, and then 50% Yellow Gem Damage, and all Gem Defense 50 
percent. So you start to add up, excuse me. I was trying not to cough. You start to add up all these things that Tiffy now has, which includes a reworked finisher, uh, her plate, the moment, and suddenly, man, the picture on her keeps changing, right? It keeps changing. Also, you get shards for Chelsea, Carmelo, LA Knight, EO Sky, and then Raquel Rodriguez, Pat Patterson, Ilya Dragunov, Cody Rhodes, the story continues, Trish Stratus, Rex Regum, Vader Time, and CM Punk. Other, there's the new Tiffany moment. There's in Ilya Dragunov, 100% ultimate gem damage strap, which those are typically on the most expensive side of whatever these prize walls are. So just keep in mind, that one's like a, you had, you got to have him for the bonuses. Like you got to have Ilya, Ilya to get those bonuses kind of a thing. And then there's also just a regular gym damage strap that's going to be random, 100% gym damage strap for a random class or era, and then some premium skill plate cases, token bundle, bundles, strap parts, metal bits, and as the wonderful Goldie says, econ. Now, solo contest milestone is 15 million. There's 100 Mae Young shards. There's 400 Ilya Dragunov shards. 50,200 Unbreakable Dragon medal medallions. And uh, 10 Unbreakable Dragon contest bags. But top 200 in the leaderboards can get up to 15,000 more Unbreakable Dragon uh, medallions and 18 six-star gold tokens. With the Faction Boss competition, the max milestone is 50 million. Keep in mind, this is a faction competition. Uh, 35 Ilya Dragunov shards, 50 Cody Rhodes The Story Continues shards, 4.7 million Unbreakable Dragon solo contest points, and 3,000 medallions. Plus, climb the faction leaderboard, and you can get up to 500,000 Unbreakable Dragon solo contest points. On the CSS, remember, this is faction-based, so work with your faction. If you don't have somebody, don't get upset, but do use who you have, because hopefully someone in your faction has at least one of these characters, and you should be able to get through this. So, defeat the boss on level 6 with any technician. Everybody can do that. That should be that should be fine. Everybody should have an any technician, and you can beat level six, the lowest uh, possible hanging fruit there. Uh, defeat level eleven with Brutus Creed, the Creed brothers. That is the very not good B tier guy, right? Not the not the very 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 good S tier guy. Uh, Fifty times on that. Defeat the boss on level six with Batista Bomb again. Should be able to uh, accomplish that. Everybody in your faction should have. Batista at this point. Uh, defeat the boss on level 16 with any technician. Now you're starting to get into some of the higher, that's uh, six bronze, I think, that you have to have, but hopefully you've got at least one six bronze any technician in the mix. Uh, now for a hundred times limit, defeat the boss on level 11 with Terry Funk, Chainsaw, Charlie. Uh, Terry Funk was given away this week. I think there's still time if you haven't gotten him, so please make sure you do because he is a very good character, especially with that new universal moment that, yes, works in boss battle. And theoretically, we'll look at it when we get to there in a minute, but I think six bronze is the requirement, or I'm sorry, five gold is the requirement for 11. Uh, so you just got to have worked them up. And again, you only need to have a, a hundred of them wins wise. So if everyone in your faction has Chainsaw Charlie, that's one win per person. If half the faction hasn't taken Chainsaw Charlie to the required level, that's still two, three per person. You're, you're going to be all right. Uh, so... Let's move on. Uh, defeat 11 with Master of the Claymore, Drew. That's going to be a little bit more rare CSS right there. A hundred times. Defeat the boss on level 20 with Julius Creed, the Creed Brothers. That is the S tier from last month that if you got him, especially if you got his gear, blue, purple, purple, uh, lay down the, the multiply gems, lay down the trap gems, turn all the gems purple, uh, it hits for insane damage, and you still have plus 99 MP right now. So use that while you got it. Uh, defeat the boss with a Cody Rhodes. The story continues. That is the S plus 
tier character. So now you're getting more points, but less of them, so to speak. Uh, so if at least one person in your faction got the S plus tier powerhouse Cody, that person, that should be all they're doing is just beating level 20 over and over again. And if you've got somebody that can manhandle a level 20 or do good to help them, you be the support. Just get those level 20s done. And then lastly, defeat the boss on level 14 with Ilya Dragunov. That is the character this weekend. So that is going to be, by definition, the most rare of these CSS. But again, you only need one person in your faction to, to get Ilya, and then everybody just pile on and help. Limited time tours, you are going to get 12,000 unbreakable dragon medallions, but that does require that you have Ilya Dragunov. So that's the bonus medallions, right? 25 Ilya Dragunov shards, which 25, okay. Uh, 11 unbreakable dragon contest bags and 5.6 million solo contest points. How you getting them? Well, Friday, that is only if you have Ilya Dragunov. So 24 hours only from Friday at reset to Saturday at reset. For me, mountain time, that is one o'clock. So uh, by Saturday, if, if you've got Ilya, you've got between that when it opens till Saturday uh, at one to get those bonus rewards. If you pull Ilya, get him from a bag or whatever, you need to make sure you do that because those rewards are stout usually, difference making for sure. Friday, the Unbreakable Dragon Challenge, which is normal for an Attitude Era, hard for a Legend, and hell for a Modern Era, and all of them have to be technicians. So, Attitude Era Technician, who comes to mind? Not any good ones, that off the top of mind anyway. However, Legends Era, oh, we got that. That is that's Cowboy Bob, right? Modern, The Miz, if you got him. Uh, otherwise, there's some pretty decent choices after The Miz, but uh, Miz is the best technician in the game. I said it. Julius is good too. Ah, very good. All right, Friday time is a uh, tiffy time is money, and that's all the characters that are on the uh, new moment plus Ilya Dragunov basically. So if you've got one of the characters that benefits from the moment, that's where you get to use it. Saturday, Batista bomb striker. Uh, so it's basically if you have Batista high enough, you use that. If not, it's a striker requirement. And then Saturday, the NXT big thing. So the requirement will be female NXT. So there's not any bonus CSS because female NXT already limits you down to Nikita Lion and Piper Niven and uh, Roxanne and etc. Like Piper Niven's probably, uh, I'm pretty sure she has the NXT link. She's she's the one to go with for most of the free to play community. Uh, Roxanne or or uh, even you know maybe Cora for those who got her uh, from the free oopsies bags that they did and then Sunday the czar of NXT so if you got Ilya Dragunov you're good if you got break everyone brown breaker you're good if you got Carmelo Hayes you're good and you're going those are super rare Wesley was free and Wesley is worth considering to take to six star gold he is so He's good, he's good, and you can have him, use him. Faction boss info. Uh, so the required faction boss coins can be earned in the faction boss battle. The higher the difficulty, the more coins you get. This is all pretty standard stuff, so I'm gonna summarize a little bit more as we get moving. Remember, each level shards can be earned four times. So basically what they're saying there is two big things. One, if you can already beat a level 20 faction boss, you don't have to beat a one and then a two and then a three and then a four and then a five. You just beat the level 20, you get all of the rewards below that. If you can beat a level 23, you get all the rewards, period, from that. And you do it once for each style. Uh, however, don't be the guy in your faction who gets all four of your 23s and then logs off for the weekend. Those are the people that should get kicked. I said it. Uh, but secondly, winning with an entire team gives two times the fa faction boss coins. So as the wonderful Gerson used to say, don't uh, log on with somebody across the globe. And there's a possible connection issue. It messes you all up. Uh, Ilya Dragunov makes his faction boss debut this weekend. So prepare your superstar team and gather your faction mates to take him down. He will util uh, utilize a hardened green gem shield. So be prepared with superstars that create and destroy large numbers of green gems. So if you can't do anything else for your faction during this, if you've got someone who is a green gem spammer, <clears throat> that's your person. 
that's who you want, right? So uh, there's a lot of them out there. If you don't know who to use, check out Professor, Professor G Gaming, uh, another one of the official content creators who does these amazing boss battle top four to sevens and then what he calls the bargain bin from there. Uh, you need those green gym spammers. You're also going to need unfreeze because that is the big thing this time. Oh, by the way, also, you might need neutralize because when a yellow gym is on the board during the boss's turn, that messes up your team. Now, I don't think that means a yellow gym that was just magically on the board because how are you going to get rid of all of them that were just there by RNG? But if your character adds yellow gems to the board, anybody in the boss battle fight across any of your four in your lobby, it screws up the team. Pay attention before you go in. So offensively, take advantage of Snowfall, Pyro, and Blue Gems because that's the damage that gets buffed. So you're talking like your Cody Rhodes Powerhouse, uh, even your, your new Batista, but of course the, the best one to beat the Ilya boss is Ilya. So there is that. Um, yeah. But if you have somebody who can spam the snot out of Blue Gems, if they create them from a Pyro... Terry Funk does those things, then you would be very, very good for that. And Snowfall being the other. So you do have some some others in the mix that would also help for that. But Terry Funk, Terry Funk, Terry Funk. Uh, William Regal, William Regal, William Regal. So here's what it's going to do. You can see it on screen here. Uh, it increases the boss move damage if there's a yellow gem on the board. So don't bring anybody that creates yellows. In fact, if you have a, one of the plates that, you know, makes yellow gems into another color, that might even be better. Freeze moves. So you need to have in every single boss battle lobby, you need to have a level 10 unfreeze. Period. Just don't go into battle unless you all agree to take the risk without a level 10 unfreeze. At least one. Uh, two level nines will also work, but one level 10 is what you really, 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 really want. Uh, and if that's not something you've already got at this point in the game, you need to make your best focused character your focus going forward on the boss battle currency and get that unfreeze to level 10 as soon as possible. I know it takes a while. Uh, I have one of my six star silver guys has a level 10, but my six golds don't yet. So William Regal, for me, is the absolute focus to get him to have a level 10. Everybody should have one on your team if you can. Uh, your deal damage, and then there's a hardened green sh uh, shield. So you're going to want to avoid yellow gems and make sure you have someone on your team who can spam green. So requirements so far, every boss battle team, don't, if you're the leader, if you're the person who is in charge of the lobby, don't go in to the match unless you know you've got a high enough level on freeze or two, and you've got somebody who can spam green gems like crazy. So be aware of what characters are going in there with you. Don't just let everyone bring a six star gold, uh, you know, Hall of Fame Jerry Lawler, because that's the one character they could get to six star gold. I'm sorry, unless you agree on a carry, every single lobby should have. Are you ready for it one last time? For those in the back, a level 10 unfreeze, green gem spammer or two, and make sure nobody is spamming yellow gems and their things. Uh, and then the rest of that you can see in there. Also, just note trap gem generation is cut out. So uh, if it makes an area of trap gems, like a one by five or a five by five, it will still generate those. But if it's a number, like generate 10 random trap gems, it will be zero. So like your Ozzy Osbourne is not going to work. He will not create any trap gems on this. However, if you've watched Merrick's videos, another one of our wonderful content creators uh, that's official for Scopely, he has a, an amazing video for Rey Mysterio Zombie, the, the Mascara de la Muerte. Uh, yeah, yeah, if you have him, and especially if you have his gear, Mascara Ray is whoo dog, will do some damage. So, uh, boss difficulty, you can see right on here, the HP goes all the way up to 1.5 billion. Let's hope that's subject to change, because usually top end boss has like 1 billion, but now level 20 
is going to be a 1 billion hit. So you really need to bring some heavy damage people or make sure you've got unfreeze to tuck in for a, a long ride. Uh, put these up on screen so you can see them, but this is everything that you've already seen or need to see. The only thing that I really call out as like an interpretation slant is uh, shield HP scales from 20 to 135, depending on difficulty. So if you're thinking uh, a level 23 is 135 green gems have to be broken, that is the entire board two and a half times two to three times so you really need some green chuckers in there shield will not be affected by boss breakers that's been the norm for a while and it will increase the boss move damage if there's a yellow gem on the board that applies at level six beyond boss move is uh increased a hundred percent but you can remove it with neutralize so neutralize doesn't break the shield but it does remove that effect. So that's one more on the, the tick list. 100% number one is unfreeze, then green gems. But then if you've got those covered, make sure somebody has neutralized. And then the unfreeze is one more time there. Uh, rarity requirements. So here's where we can see a level 11 is five star gold. So that was a lot of what you're going to be required uh, for the CSS. And then for the 16s, those are six bronze. And uh, six gold is only required at 23, but it is required. So if you're gonna max this boss and get your 400 points for your faction, uh, yeah, that's that's what you gotta have. You gotta have a six star gold in every of the types, right? Uh, useful boss breakers, it's pretty much the same thing we've said every time, except a special shout out is always given to exhaust. If you have two level 10 exhausts, the boss does zero damage per turn, except for whatever bonus damage. So that is another way to play. If you want to go in for the long haul, you're still going to need hell freezes over. But if you've got exhaust, two level 10 exhausts, you can, you can wear the boss down. And then you can see the strategies right there. Same thing I've already shared with you. Give you a sec to screenshot. And then the boss breaker strategies. Everything I've already shared with you. It says Hell Freeze is over, have a level nine. You really want a level 10. And then that's what it does. So please note one last time if a team member disconnects or leaves an ongoing bass, boss battle, bass battle, yeah, bass masters, the team won't earn the total amount of points. So if somebody disconnects, you have to do it again if you want those points. Um, Get an extra chance at the four-star gold Ilya Dragunov Unbesigbar in the forum giveaway. Rusty's favorite point of order in this is to note that we know more people who have gotten this as the way that they end up with the weekend character than on average pull them from the initial loot. So go on the forum and give them constructive criticism. That doesn't mean you can't not like something. It just means you kind of give a here's what I liked, here's what I didn't like, here's what I would have liked to see improved to fix what I didn't like. Not only does it, uh, you know, make them more likely to listen to you, but also it's kind <laughs> for two. Uh, but also, what if they actually implement what you're saying? Like you get to be a voice of positive change in this game and in this community. So that's it for the uh, Unbreakable Dragon, Dragoon. Uh, anybody remember the game Legends of Dragoon? I know it's spelled differently, but uh, Legends of Dragoon on the, the PS1, that was one of my favorite RPGs, like uh, that was under the radar. You know, Final Fantasy VII, of course, was up here. Legend of Dragoon was like, oh, You've got Legend of Dragoon? That's a good game, right? So have fun with this Unbreakable Dragoon, and uh, we'll see you on the next one. Be sure to check out our Friday stream on the Main Champs channel. This weekend, we are power rating Ilya Dragunov and Terry Funk. So you can see, are these two characters worth being in that top echelon? We'll see you on the next one. Appreciate you guys. Like, subscribe, share, all those things. Bye.